I gotta tell you, going back to the theater to watch a Puss in Boots movie after 11 years of being, you know, done with the Shrek franchise in general was really, really strange. But still, going back to it was pretty nostalgic, and I do want to talk about it, so without further ado, let us begin. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, is the new film in the Shrek franchise with the Puss in Boots character and is the second spin-off with the character after the first one came out in like 2011. I thought that was okay, although it did get Oscar nominated because it is pretty well animated, I guess, but it was alright. Like, I still think the peak of that franchise was like Shrek 2. But nonetheless, I was excited to see The Last Wish because I heard some pretty interesting buzz about it. And as you may know from what you may have seen in the marketing, Puss in Boots is down to his last life. He's been killed eight times, which means that the next time he dies is it. And as a result of that, he is sort of questioning his mortality. It seems like every time he's going to be in a different, you know, dangerous situation now, he's suddenly worried because that could be the end of it. But when there is an opportunity to be able to regain those lives by making a wish, he decides to embark on a bit of a quest, which turns out a lot of people want some wishes to be granted. After hearing the buzz that I have about it over the last few weeks or so, I was very excited to see this movie. And having seen it, I can understand why. This is a very fun and entertaining movie, sure, but it's also gorgeous. The animation over here is off the charts, and if it wasn't for Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio with its stop-motion work, this would probably be my favorite animated movie of the year. And that's crazy to say, because I, I didn't know what to expect from this at one point in time, so I was so surprised by what I was witnessing on screen just now. There weren't a lot of people at my theater. You have to understand right now, Avatar is running, and that's making all the money. Ironic saying this, considering the posters right here. But... That doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I was still watching it and having a very good time with it. It also has some really great voice work to go with it. I think Antonio Banderas as this character has just done an immaculate job ever since 2004 and he continues to do a really great job of it. I think he's fantastic as this character and he brings a lot of depth to him in this one which I was really surprised by but also really humbled by because I think it's important that when you have the situation that Puss is in right now and you you know so you you try to basically bring that aspect of it as much into life as uh, as possible and I think he did a great job there's an aspect of puss in this that I was actually surprised made it into something like a kids animated film which is he's having panic attacks which was insane like there's a couple of scenes where he is genuinely not being able to respond to situations and he's running away from things and he is panicking and the film has a way of dealing with that. And I thought that is incredibly mature. That's more mature than anything I've seen from a, a DreamWorks Shrek movie, at least. So kudos to them on doing that. In fact, over the last couple of movies, they've really leaned into making more mature stuff with this and the bad guys. So I was really, really happy about that. Also really good in terms of the voice performances. Really, everybody's great. But I thought Salma Hayek and Harvey Guillen did a really, really great job as well. And I got a lot more with the character of Kitty Softpaws in this, which was really cool. You also get Goldilocks and the Three Bears with Goldilocks voiced by Florence Pugh. I'm not joking. And she's awesome in it. So that was pretty cool. It also helps that it's a very well-written movie. It's very entertaining, like I said, but it's also got some very good, solid character arcs to go off of and some really fun situations. Yeah, it goes into some, you know, stuff you've seen a thousand times before, obviously, but it still manages to make it as unique and interesting as possible, especially when it came to handling some of those deeper moments in the film. And I really, really like that. The animation, like I said, is extraordinary, but the act action sequences are also downright remarkable. There are some frame rate stuff that they do which is similar to something like Spider-Verse where I can see a lot of comparisons being made to. But I think it was a good idea because it's kind of the breath of fresh air they needed for this to work and I'm glad that they used it. You know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to see the comparisons. Those are going to come up for sure. But at the end of the day, as long as they work, I think it's, it's really, really good. Uh, ironically, we got a trailer for across the spider-verse 
before this movie played, which was interesting. But overall, I am quite satisfied with Puss in Boots' The Last Wish. I think about it, and I think this is next to Shrek 2 as my favorite of the franchise. I already said that before, I want to reiterate that. I love the first Shrek movie. I know that's the one that internet loves the most, and yes, it's very, very good, but I was always the Shrek 2 was better than one person, and I think this is just about on that level, so I would say the first Shrek is number three for me. It does seem to, at times, sort of hint at the fact that there is more they can do and they can bring back certain characters. That would be pretty exciting to see, and so fingers crossed that that happens. I'm gonna give Puss in Boots The Last Wish a 9 out of 10. What a stunning year for films. I, I keep saying that every time there's a good movie, but again, what a great year for film, right? Guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to, honestly, the end of the year. The wrap-up is coming, so tomorrow is the last review of the year. That's going to be for Babylon. I'm looking forward to talking about that. As always, if you like this, guys, please do subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the movies.